guys, this is Sylvia again. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming back with another haul, this time from Target and from Dollar Tree. Mostly from Dollar Tree, but I did pick up a few cute things that I wanted to share from Target. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned. Now the first things that I'm going to go over are my purchases from Target. Uh, first thing that I did buy was this egg tree. Um, it's really cute, has really good details. There's The eggs are sort of gilded, uh, different pastel colors. Have it on my front entryway table. I'm actually thinking about doing a spring decor video, spring slash Easter decor video. So if you're interested, definitely stay tuned because that will be up on my channel sometime soon. Um, I also found, I have three, I'm only showing two. Because I'm actually mid-project with one to see what I really want to do with it. But there are the rose gold pails that I could just get some um, greenery uh, foam, put it in there, and use uh, maybe hydrangea. Something nice and full that would look cute, you know, when you want, see a lot of the Pinterest, uh, you know, um, greenery displays. They always have three of everything, and it looks so clean and chic so I thought that the rose gold would be a nice little accent to um, just adding a nice little refresh in my house usually it's all just you know passed up well not pastel neutral colors so having nice little pops of color here and there would probably you know liven that up for spring um, <clears throat> also picked up these paper straws now they are um, 24 count, they were $3, they have gold. This was actually in the party section of the Target dollar spot, but um, since I drink coffee, it was definitely something that I wanted to invest in just to keep my teeth white. Um, I drink a lot of coffee. So that would be cool to have. Um, also, wouldn't be a trip, trip to the dollar spot. Um, if I did not include washi tape. Uh, this is actually fabric. I have a pink and a blue. Uh, the blue I can't find for some reason. I'm gonna look for that later. But uh, the two washi tapes that I did use in my planner video, I did get from the Dollar Spot as well. The uh, very beautiful dark blue with floral and the pink chromatic. I got there as well and they look so beautiful, so nice for spring, so I thought it was a really nice added um, bonus. I also picked up this, uh, which is the pink uh, clear sticker book. They're clear. They're not paperback, they're clear, so if you pull them off, they will um, blend in with the paper that you have on there. Um, there are some that do have the kind of squares that are kind of filled in. Um, but for the most part, they are clear stickers. They're not paper. It's very soft sheen to it, but it's beautiful. I love the color scheme on these. I um, picked up the pink ones. This is definitely, hands down, um, better. A lot more affirmative things, a lot more to-dos, um, nice little flowers and patterns. Um, it's definitely a step up from the first one, so it's definitely a pickup if you can find it. I also found this hexagon tray. This was actually in the crowded area with the uh, on the clearance hub. So it was $1.98 for uh, this little tray. It was definitely cool. And just a regular USB flash drive. I'm helping my neighbor uh, with her business, so I'm trying to kind of get a, a nice little um, um, kind of like a collection of the stuff that we work on on a hard drive so that she can be mobile and use it for whatever her needs are. So that is actually all of the things that I picked up at Target. Uh, let's go on to the things for Dollar Tree. My Dollar Tree picks. So I got a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. <laughs> um, first, I did pick up some florals. I did say that I wanted to do something with the hydrangeas. So I got six total. Two to make it a full. Um, and this is just the look of what I am trying to do with them. See how fresh it looks? It looks really nice and, you know, simple. Something that you could definitely have gotten at Target, Ross, TJ Maxx, all that. Um, but I really like the hydrangeas because they look really, like, you know, really full, really nice. Um, so it's definitely inexpensive and um, gives it a really nice look. I also got these and they're delphiniums. I really love the long stem roses, uh, 
lot of the flowers that they have at the Dollar Tree now, they're definitely stepping their game up. They look amazing. Um, I know that there's a lot of the dogwood and um, cherry blossoms and looking at you like, what are you doing? I'm trying to do this quickly. Uh, they are such a beautiful shade of like a bluish purple um, that I thought it really, really cool. Now, the look that I'm going for is sort of like a staggered look where if you cut the bottoms at varying lengths, they look like a nice little, um, you know, a nice little bouquet. And you just put it also from the dollar store in a little vase like this. And nice. So again, I am thinking about, or I am going to put um, a video up of my spring decor, of affordable spring decor. So I thought that, you know, just seeing a few of the things that I've seen, or I'm going to feature in there. I also got this bunny. I got it at the dollar store. I've seen this at the Walmart for $1.98. The only thing is that the bottom is glued on, so it's more stable. The, this actually comes with this part come off of there in a plastic bag. But for a dollar, come on now, you can you can glue that sucker on. Don't even play. <clears throat> um, now. I've been seeing a lot of people haul the artwork. Um, I did go to uh, the big Dollar Tree in my area and I saw a lot, a lot of beautiful things, but I didn't see any of the canvas and I really was bummed because I really wanted to put a nice canvas print uh, near my coffee maker. You know, just what's the cute coffee sayings. They had one that says, but first coffee. Um, but I wasn't in love with it, so you know how that kind of goes when you're not in love with something. You definitely don't want to buy it, even if it is a dollar. But I did find um, this beautiful frame. It says a little mermaid sleeps here um, for Gabby's room. She Her room is all mermaid um, with this same color scheme. So now this was perfect, and I couldn't pass this up. This was adorable. So I know they have a lot of beach stuff, but this is really, really, uh, even the frame itself, I don't feel like I would change anything from it. Um, I would just put it in her room. It would be amazing for her to have. Um, no. From Decor, um, they have actually been stepping up a lot of their uh, electronics um, accessories and stuff like that. I found this speaker. Um, where you can just put like a little cord here, uh, put a little battery. It's supposed to be high, so I'm gonna try this out. I was thinking about doing like a Dollar Tree um, try on, just to see if it actually works, you know, or what's worth the buy. I got a cassette adapter because my car, yes, still has a cassette adapter, does not have an MP3 player, and my CD player does not work. So I was trying it out. Um, it kind of works. Uh, Quality is not that great. You kind of have to put the volume all the way down on your phone and control the volume from the radio for it to give you a uh, decent quality sound. Um, but I am mad. It works and it was a dollar. So I am mad. I am mad. Um, they also have a lot of beautiful phone covers. I was really impressed with the phone covers. This looks so nice. It's reflective. It's like this nice, um, what did I say, coppery color. I found one that was um, gold. Uh, and I picked up more than one because I don't know if they're going to get these back. But they are beautiful um, for any phone. I, especially mine because I have the gold iPhone. It definitely steps it up. I know that they have it also for Samsung phones. Um, so try it out. Also found this little bit clip. Now I've lived in Florida for four years now, and I still don't know my way around. Just saying. So this came in really handy. It clips in, adjusts to the size of your phone. You can clip it into the vent, and just sort of position it how you want, or whatever. This moves around as well, um, so you can kind of just use it how you uh, best would work for you. Um, and I also found this audio cable. Now I bought the audio cable to go with the speaker, but it's actually a, a, a threaded fabric rope. And I thought for a dollar, that's really cool. I haven't seen one of these in the Dollar Tree, so I thought that was really awesome. Um, they also have a lot of new hardware. I don't know if you've walked through the hardware section, but my big Dollar Tree has um, face masks, the earphones, for construction, I'm guessing, safety glasses, they have tools, 
I've definitely seen hammers and stuff on there and this level, which if you are a DIYer or just like to decorate your home, this is definitely a must. Um, and this little box. That was really cool because I have a few tools at home um, for just, you know, what I usually use, like a screwdriver and stuff. And I like to have everything with its own little home. So this would definitely be cool to have and um, add to my organizational. So definitely look at it if you're looking for new additions to your house. The thing that I wanted to try, because um, I've seen it hauled a lot, is the in-wash fragrance boosters. I wanted to see how well they work. I love using like the Purex crystals are my favorite. Um, I'm not sure why I don't really like the downy or the gain. I don't feel like they dissolve as well, but the um, Purex crystals, I feel like this is really comparable. This is my first time like smelling it. I didn't even smell in the store, go figure. But I would say they're pretty comparable. But leftovers and sort of like meal prep before, so any night that I know I'm not going to have leftovers, kind of do a quick salad so that it is ready to go and I stay on the ball because this year we are doing the countdown to 30. Countdown to 30, six months, less than six months. I will be turning 30. I gotta get on it. Also found this, I was watching Do It On A Dime's video, which I'll link below, about a lot of Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree <laughs> cleaning products that she uh, uses. And I saw this in her video and I was like, I really have to try it. It looks really cute. And I'm really sure I could probably use it for more than um, that. Uh, could put this in the kids' bathroom, put a little bit of cleaner in here, and then just have them scrub. You know how that, that annoying toothpaste thing? That thing annoys me. Just saying. So having this would probably be kind of cool to have in their bathroom. Um, just because I have wipes there, they don't get used. Um... <laughs> Also, I found these stickers, which I thought it'd be cool. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for my planner, but I am thinking about maybe just um, adding it to a possible um, scrapbook. I want to do scrapbooks for the kids to sort of be able to look back on and sort of flip through it as the years, you know, when they like to look at pictures as they get older. So... Uh, ideas it's definitely going in my in my craft stack so again to be determined for a future video maybe who knows um craft boxes i saw this and i had to get i have three now three three say so you have a problem yes you have a problem i love these i already filled up one i am in the process of filling up my second one but they stack do you see how clean that looks? That looks amazing. They stack. So you can just put this on a shelf by itself and just let it be that. And you know, when you divide it up by color, it looks really nice. So just think about it, just looking in your little craft area and just seeing this and the fact that it stacks real nicely. Go ahead. Found these fertilizer spikes. I use these for an orchid that I had um, was something like this. It was for specifically for orchids and it did amazing with the spikes. So I thought I would do it since it's spring. Um, and so another added bonus um, for me is this tool right here. Um, it's helped me extend the life of my pedicures. Uh, you have the kind of like the cheese grater um, the file, you have the pumice stone and the, um, the, um, brush here. I like to do like a quick scrub of my feet because you know if you wear flats a lot or even sandals, dirt does accumulate so this kind of like helps break it up and make it just feel fresh. Um, and then again you're just trying to keep the calluses away so you don't got no crusty feet. Big no-no here in Florida, in life, not just Florida just keep that there few items are more beauty items um, again I wanted to try stuff to see um, buy stuff that I wanted to see if it actually worked if it's worth it to get something a nice affordable find I found the blending sponges I'm not sure if this will work um, but we'll see how it goes I use uh, as of current a real technique sponge so um, we'll see how this works out um, I did find a five minute whitening 
tray. Uh, I'm not sure if this will work, but you know, Candy Johnson did um, a back in the day. Um, she did a tutorial on how she whitens her teeth, and she uses a mouth guard with this sort of gel that she gets at Walmart. So I was thinking if that works for her and she has really gorgeous teeth, maybe this will work for me. Who knows? To be shown at a later time. Um, I also saw these face masks, one in grapeseed and the other in green tea. A dollar, again, not sure if it'll work, but maybe we'll do a beauty video to see if you should try it or not. Um, but definitely in there. Um, now, I also did find in mine um, the Sinful Colors by Kylie, uh, Kylie Jenner. Um, this is in a demi matte. It says demi matte. It's in the color cashmere. That was really cool. It's like a grayish color with a little bit of gold flex in it. So I'm curious to see how that'll look. Um, if you are interested in seeing how I do my nails, I did do a tutorial on those. Currently don't have any on right now, but um, the thing that I like about wearing artificial nails is that I can take them off, let my fingers breathe. Sometimes I really don't like having things on my hand. And then I can just put them back on, especially for a quick night out or just to have for the week. They usually last about uh, a week anyway um, if I go that long. Sometimes I just like to take them off for the weekend because I'm cleaning at home. Um, now the last few items I picked up were finally finding some of the Bolero, uh, Bolero items. Um, now I really like the packaging on these. The great thing about the packaging, it looks like something that you would find at Ross or TJ Maxx. You know when you go to the beauty section, sometimes they have really off-brand items. Um, but those off-brand items are amazing. Now this is the body cream and lavender and chamomile. Um, now this is, it feels nice. It feels a little like greasy, so I don't know if I would use it on my hands. But it does dry really nice. Um, but I wouldn't use it for my hands. Um, but again, it's my only time using it. So again, we'll try that out and see how that goes. Um, I also got the bath soak. I love soaking. So this is really cool to have lavender chamomile for muscle. It says muscle discomfort and to soften skin. So, you know, when I'm trying to get away from my kids, when I get away from them, but you know, kind of have like mommy time and be nice. I've never had a bath bomb thing, but this is a bath fizzer. So I'm really excited to try this to see how it works. Um, I'm definitely going to have to pick up more because I was talking to the lady at Dollar Tree and she never knows, or she said, you never know when you're not going to get anything back. So um, I'm really interested in trying out the products and really doing reviews on them because sometimes, you know, you know, a lot of times people are like, well, it works. Well, how does it work? I want to know. Give me the dirt. Give me the dirt. Um, <laughs> but it'd be cool to just kind of know, like, kind of hands-on, like, what works and how it works and, you know, what are the benefits and the minuses of doing, of using it kind of over a span of time. So, you know, that's just how my mind works. I'm a mom. I want to see those reviews that kind of, like, will help me best use my money for investing in products that'll work and, you know, save me a buck, but kind of get the comforts and luxuries. I mean face mask for a dollar. I know that they have some for $2.99, but you never know. These might be legit. You know, you never know. Never know. But that is actually all that I have, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you can give this a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Until next time. Bye, guys. Oh, my God. What? Hunter just killed the bird. What? He just killed the bird. Ooh. Hunter. The stuffing's everywhere. Who did that? Huh? Don't tell him that because <laughs> Who did that? <laughs> Who did that? You did, crazy boy.